Peace. Yeah, Peace. There we go. Peace. Happy and healthy family we're, of friends. We are officially live on all networks. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. I like to be live. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Greetings. Welcome. Happy new day with Ari and Jay. Yes. Hey, Mama. How you doing? Hi. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. Uh, you know, I just gotta, you know, bring it down just a tad. Okay. See, just, that's uh. You know, well, I mean, I'm seeing the video now. Okay, okay, like no, this. No, 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 no. I mean, okay. Yeah, see, I did like, ask you now. Well, no, 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 no. You was cool. I was just saying. I think it like, cause it just looked like it's the top of our head. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean not until one minute, cause you don't know until you turn the thingy jiggy. Let's see one more little thing. One more again. Pop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now it's boom. There we go. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, that's good. Crap. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Duck. <laughs> okay. Hey, good morning, Miss Felicia. Hey, Peace. Mama. Welcome, hey, there we welcome go. everyone. Okay, yeah. we're good to go. Yes, we're all good right. to go. We're welcome to the to show. Go. Yes, happy Tuesday. Happy Mars Day. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Would you this have to explain that? What you Mars, just said? yes, Mars. That it is the energy of the day. Oh. Uh, each day is governed by a different planet. Mm-hmm. And so Mars is the day of labor, the day of work, the day of go get it. Mm. Yes, the day of go get itness uh, in the uh, Bagua. Uh, actually, in multiple cultures and, and and whatnot, so each day is governed by a different, uh, different uh planet or different energy, and so today is the day. If you're gonna get it in, get it in. Uh, whatever it is you want to accomplish for the week, today is the day to go full force forward with all that you got. Uh, the color of the day technically is gold, so it got a little gold in the dashiki. Here and there, I don't have an actual gold dashiki yet, but uh, but the gold in there that's uh, that's good energy. Uh, that solar plexus energy, oh. uh, the solar plexus governs the day as well. And so, uh, the colors for today are gold. Uh, that will put you in alignment with to attract the energy that you need to, you know, really pu- push forth and make it happen on another level. And, uh, and that's whatever it is you want to accomplish. But today is a day of labor, the day of work, the day of go get something done. If you're going to get it done, the energy of the universe is going to support you in making that happen. Mm-hmm. And, and so and gold, that solar plexus energy, that third chakra, uh, that will uh, of Haru, uh, uh, that, uh, you know, if you're going to push through, you're going to push it through today. So yeah, happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's get it. Hmm, that's mm-hmm. interesting. So that would uh, apply to those who were born on a Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, ooh. yes. Yes. You got some Tuesday as you got some yes. go. Yeah, you got you was a go get it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes, you are. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, don't let you. She can't tell you nothing. Uh, and that once you got your mind made up, it's on. Mm, just step back and get out your way, Queen. I already know it. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So now, yes. I have learned that. Mm-hmm. Once you got your mind made up, let's, let's get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got no choice get but to fall in line. <laughs> <laughs> oh mm-hmm. yes. Well, you might have a candle burn. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Why? joke. Uh, Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What, what, we what? have on the same colors today, don't we? Kind of. Oh. I have on the orangey. Mm-hmm. Happy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So thanks for the love. We appreciate you for viewing. This mm-hmm. is episode 30. 31. 31. Okay. 31. Yes. 31. Yes. 31. 31. All right. Yes. And what are we speaking on today? Hmm. Mm. We start off with a question. Okay. Have you ever felt like you're in a rut? Mm. Have you ever felt like there's just so much going on, so much happening, so much going on in your mind that it feels like you can't 
get to the next level. You can't seem to get things done. You it, it, you see you feel overwhelmed. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And so it, that that's what today is about. Is how do you overcome that? Uh, how do you overcome that? Uh, and usually there's a when somebody is being bombarded from all around and you get to feeling overwhelmed, it's because there's a lack of focus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lack of focus. And so sometimes people's like, well, I'm, I'm doing such and such and such, but then you get to talking to them. They always oh, says, oh, yeah, Felicia, I feel like that sometimes. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. No, nah. yeah, exactly, Felicia, no, nah. yeah. You feel scattered mm-hmm. all yeah. over the place. Yeah, and then you feel like you're over here, then you're over here, then you're over there, then you're over... And you, by the time you look around, the day is gone. And you're like, dang, I didn't do nothing. Or you did a whole lot of pieces of stuff, and then your mind gets diverted somewhere else. And, um, yeah. Uh, uh, me, yeah, okay, I hear you, Kimberly, yeah. Yeah, That that's, uh, uh, and the thing is, there's so many things going on that we're, are, are, it's over, almost like a, what you call an overstimulation. Uh, when you look at, like, from the uh, social media, uh, you look at TV, uh, the, what's on the radio, uh, everything that's fly, popping up in our news feed as soon as we turn our phones on. Uh, every, you know, every few minutes there's a ding, 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 a bell and whistle. Hey, Deborah, hey, it's good to see you. Oh, Welcome. yeah. Felicia said, I feel scatterbrained. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's like, honestly, it's by design <laughs> to keep us distracted. Uh, but, you know, and that's something that we got to overcome. It's not like we're choosing to do that, even though technically... We are choosing because we're allowing it to happen. But a lot of times we're not even aware of it. It's just there's so many things. And then you start adding in family and the babies and the kids. And they, you know, they want here. And you feel like you pulled in a million directions. Yeah. And then sometimes you just got to say, damn it, no. You got to shut it down. You got to shut it down. <laughs> You got to, you, you got to, yeah, and, and, and shoot, you best have had it to drive you nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir because I'm, I'm, I, I'm notorious for it, of having, uh, of, 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 you know, having so many different things going on. Yeah, grab rising, kid. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. No, we good, we good. Yeah, and so, yeah, you just got to let it go, like. And then we start adding in any kind of trauma with that, you know, because a lot of times uh, we it's difficult for us to move forward because we're so busy focusing on and trying to process what was going on in the past. And a lot of times uh, we can't even get past the past and it's because we're so stuck in that. Uh, that, you know, we can't move forward because we keep looking back or feeling shame or um feeling some kind of way about what happened back in the day. And, you know, and some folks, you know, they make sure that they let you know everything that happened from back in the day, every chance they get, especially our family. You know, God bless them. But, yeah, you know, that's that's something to really, really, really be mindful of because all this stuff can build up and you're not even aware of it. You're just feeling like, man, I'm not getting ahead. I'm not getting ahead. And, what it really stems down to is what we're focusing on, what we're allowing, and also our, our an inability to live in the present. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Deborah says, uh, yeah, agenda has folks mind. Absolutely. Deborah says, question, do you believe that spiritual attack can make one physically ill? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Spiritual attack, yes. Yes, yes, yeah, that's why it's important to stay cheated up, uh, keep, you know, uh, meditate, pray, uh, shield yourself, shield your family, shield your babies, you know, I, I pray for, you know, my loved ones daily, you know, and send out positive vibrations to them because, um, I mean, you know, there's so much going on that, you know, we got to stay, you know, keep ourselves shielded and whatnot, so absolutely, 
Um, you know, and then there's also many like uh, uh, crystals. It's a good thing to keep you uh, keep you protected as well. So you know, there's you know, there's there's a number of ways to go about that. But yeah, absolutely, yeah, it could it, a spiritual attack could tear you up, especially if you um, are in a vulnerable state. If your vibration is that of a uh, that of a low level, meaning that you know, I mean, we all have our ups and downs. And so, uh, you know, we have our good days, our bad days. Some days we just say, I just don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. and, and so um, that's why it's important to, you know, maintain a high vibrational lifestyle. So even on the days when, you know, we're having our ups and downs, we're still, even in our downside, we're still up. And that will protect you from a spiritual attack. That will protect you from uh, just the, the things that are going on in our society as far as radiation. I mean, we're bombarded about all by all types of stuff, uh, you know, especially the uh, the radiation uh, that, you know, that's free-flowing, the uh, RF frequencies and things like that, it disrupts us, and it disrupts our ability to think and focus and lock in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deborah says, how are you doing today? Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm doing fabulous mm -hmm. today. Kimberly says, the world has, uh, has changed and come to find out uh, not real in a lot of ways, uh, they say. Uh, Mm -hmm. They are, yeah. They're working on our. Ch oh yes, they absolutely are, Kimberly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They they attacking the babies. Uh, shoot, actually coming out the womb. You know, because you look at the things that they put into the uh, the shots, immunizations nowadays, and it, it it's scary. Yeah, and so that's something you know. I, I'm not gonna say one way or another. You know, we all have our choices. My my thing is, or our thing is to. Put the information out and then you can decide but um yeah uh, as far as uh, once we start came into the understanding of uh, our understanding of what what they put into the vaccines they're attacking the babies from day one yeah i mean shoot eve shoot even inside the mama's womb um you know as far as you know having like, uh, iodine deficient foods and things like that uh, my uh, our uh, youngest daughter uh, she's a preschool teacher and almost half of the children there uh, they're experiencing, um, they're, they, they are pre-diagnosed, they're under five years old, and uh, and half of them are on some sort of medication or medicated for some sort of a, a learning disability, and so that's associated with the inability to focus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so focus, it, and when we mention, when I say focus, it's focus on the present, the here and the now. Now, that doesn't say forget about the past or act like the past doesn't exist because we're the grand culmination of everything, of all our experiences up to this very moment. So who and what you are right in this moment, right now, who Jeffrey and Ariane are right now is the grand culmination of everything we've experienced since the time we were in the womb. And, uh, and then, you know, if you really want to go deep, you know, we're the grand culmination of all our past lives. And so, you know, if uh, if we're, if a person's conscious enough to tap into that as well, and so, and so, that's not say to, uh, say to negate or forget your past, but it's to say that uh, don't dwell in that, don't lock into that, especially if there's like it's trauma filled or whatnot. You got to process that, you know, uh, mentally and emotionally and spiritually, and then move on from it, and then. Uh, you can really focus on the present, but then also don't be so forward thinking that you're so worried about, you know, tomorrow, 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 and you forget to live for today. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then you got people on the other side of it. They so locked in. Oh, I got to, I got to go get, I got to get, go, 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 go. And they grinding, grinding, grinding. And the whole life has passed them by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I had to, uh, that was something I had to check back in the day. Uh, with our oldest daughter um, because I was so busy grinding and working and grinding and grinding and grinding uh, that, and I was always, I never missed none of her events. I was like, I'm there, I'm there, I'm at your events. You know, I, I never missed a thing. But then she looked and one day she told me, she's like, yeah, you're there, but you're not there. Mm -hmm. You're there, but you know, you got your phone. You're stepping out to go answer client calls and stuff like that. This is when I was big, you know, heavy into the real estate game. And I was like, wow. And I looked like, yeah, there's a difference between spending time and spending quality time. And I was so busy trying to build something for the future. And, you know, there's not, 
there's nothing wrong with looking for and building towards the future as you should. Because what you do today, though, is what is it, what's going to set you up for tomorrow. And you can't forget to live mm -hmm. for today. You can't forget to focus on what it is you're doing right now. And so the, the, big, the first part of focusing is focusing on being living, being present in everything that you do. Being for whole, everything got, you put your all in everything that you're doing right here, right now. This is who you are when you with your loved one, because you never know. You never know. Uh, you know, tomorrow isn't necessarily promised. And so, uh, and, and you want to make sure that every moment, those memories, you can't take those away. You can't take those away, but you can't, but uh, in order to make those memories worthwhile, um, you got to be in the present, in the knowing, in the here and now. And so, you know, the past is gone, you know, and the future hasn't happened yet. And so the only thing we really have, you know, is the present. And what we do here and right now, that's what's going to determine the future. Mm-hmm. What's up, baby? I see you over there making notes and stuff. What you got? I'm always writing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The solar plexus energy. Mm -hmm. The breath. The breath. Is so important. It mm -hmm. is what takes us to that next moment, to that next second, to that next experience. Without it, we're not here. Mm -hmm. So something as seemingly simple as focusing on your breath mm -hmm. is enough to yep. keep you at... Um, at ease, yes, uh, yes. I like to share the phrase, hocus, pocus, focus. Ooh, hocus, pocus, focus. There's magic in focus. You're able to achieve more at a grander level, a grander scale when you're able to focus. And if that means shutting down the world to focus on what is important for the future as you were saying mm -hmm. it's carve in carve out that time to do so even if it is five minutes a day that you set aside to meditate mm -hmm. that's yes. a focal point yes. you know and giving thanks that's a focal point meditation very important uh that's the base for me in the spiritual practice not even practice. I keep saying practice. I need to get that out of my, um, <laughs> out of my, out of my wording. The spiritual, ongoing spiritually, mm -hmm. you know, staying present, staying focused, staying, staying in tune to, oh, the butterfly that just crossed, or mm -hmm. just the simple things, and it helps to ease the mind. Yes, no, absolutely. When you settle into the now, mm -hmm. you know, and I, you were speaking on it, but right now we're gaining the tools to prepare us for the future. Mm -hmm. So I can't go too far into the future because I don't have the tools to get everything done for the future. And I'm not even there yet. Mm -hmm. And focus on the past takes me back there, which doesn't serve me now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it puts you in a state of arrested development. Yes. Focusing on the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes, focusing on the past. Mm -hmm. So staying present, focusing on the breath. That is the, honestly, if we can just focus mm -hmm. on the breath, it'll help us get through traffic. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to complain. Oh, I'm not there in five minutes, but I'm 45 minutes away. What's going on right now? Are you at ease right now? That is enough to... Can we just focus on ease? Can we just give a shout out to ease being in the moment? Mm. Oh, yeah. That's important. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not about being lax or chill, but just present. Mm. And knowing that everything that's happening right now is getting us ready for the next moment. Because yeah. we can't solve it all from here or yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the only thing that we can do is what we can do. Yes. Yeah, because a lot of times, we, you know, we fall short in certain situations. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, as long as I know that I did all that I could do 
to move things forward. And if somehow, you know, it didn't quite get there, but I know I gave my absolute effort, you know, there's no fault in that, you know, because you can only do what you can do, but don't, because I used to beat myself up and not realizing I was doing some superhuman stuff. I was all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I had to learn to prioritize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my biggest thing was prioritize and, and, and stick to that. Like, hey, okay, this is, all right, the most important, and then break it down, and then follow that, and knock out as much as I could, um, and then if, you know, I didn't have enough, you know, time in the day to make it happen, you know, then, you know, it's, it's what it is, it's, it's, we got tomorrow, let's do it tomorrow, and then the thing is, because I used to agonize over, oh, I didn't get this done, or I didn't get that done, or I needed to be over here, and I'm like, shoot, when you really think about it, like, you know, everything didn't have to happen, you know, in one day. And a lot of times uh, we put ourselves in a situation where we are making promises, we're making, um, obligating her, ourselves above and beyond what our capacity is to actually fulfill that obligation. Right. Yeah, and so you've got to be, I said, metaphors got me in that. <laughs> You have to go through life, moment to moment. Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's giving me, got me cracking up. Then we, a lot of times, uh, we are all over the place. Mm -hmm. So then we're the jack of all trades and the master of none. Yes. You know, so whatever mm -hmm. that thing is for you to master, hone in, focus, 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 focus mm -hmm. on that and watch it bloom. If we planted a garden right now, mm -hmm. it's going to take patience. Yes. And eventually you see sprouts come up and it's a beautiful thing, but that is the focus Yeah. on what you're wanting to grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we circle back to, you know, prioritize. Yes. And if for whatever reason you don't get whatever it is that you need to get done for that day, Get to it tomorrow, but uh, communicate because a lot of times, you know, we in here trying to, we grinding, grinding hard, doing this and doing that. And we're feeling some kind of way because we don't want to disappoint, you know, whoever it is we've made some obligation to. But at the same time, you can only do what you can do. And when you start to stretch, stretch yourself way out, now you're losing your, you know, you're, you're getting in that position where you're stressing yourself, you're stressing, you're bringing stress into your life. And, you know, like I said, you can only do so much. You can only do so much. And so uh, a lot of times I used to beat myself up about that, like so much, like, oh, I was my own worst, like, oh, you gotta, uh, you know, and it, it comes from the way I grew up, because, you know, um, you know, in my household, that's the way that I was, you know, it, it was passed down. To the point where I did it to myself mm -hmm. and, and, you know, um, and subconsciously I did it to my children until I realized I caught myself like, wait, hold on, I can't, no, that's not cool. Like, no, nah, and, you know, so we got to break those cycles because a lot of times, you know, dwelling in the past, dwelling in our trauma, right. uh, being locked into, you know, that conditioning, you know, we have to really lock in on, hey, how do we, move away from that? How do we break free from those chains of, you know, of, of the past? And so it's about focus and whatever you focus on becomes. And so, uh, like my thing is everything that I do, I lock in on that. Uh, I've made it a point to lock in on whatever it is I'm doing until I complete that task before I move into the next task. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You know what we both do and I appreciate that we do it. What's up, baby? One of the first things that I noticed about you is that you wrote everything down. Oh, yeah. And I have notebooks in storage. I have notebooks everywhere. I write everything <laughs> down. You can prioritize that way as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's probably best to do so. Yes. There's something about writing mm -hmm. that just engages you in the you, have the... you have everything written down. It goes from brain to pen to... It's mm -hmm. a it's an action yeah. all in itself. Yeah. So they call it. There's a reason why they call it spelling, 
or if we want to get into like the the spiritual aspects mm -hmm. of, of writing. Being yeah. all esoteric mm -hmm. on us. Yeah, and so when you write <laughs> things out, it, it's almost, oh, well, actually it's the same as uh, when we're talking about creation or manifestation. Mm -hmm. and, and so there's different ways to manifest. Uh, yes, I, I need to do a day. Yes, absolutely. And different. that's why it's important to mm -hmm. journal. Yes. You know, even if it's something that I may not particularly like, Mm -hmm. I may not say it, but I'm communicating it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're spelling it. You're, you, you're manifesting. It helps you to, in your, uh, uh, helps actually keep you on task, number yes. one. Uh, but the spelling puts it into the universe. And so that uh, there's another way. It's manifesting from a different way because we manifest with the things that we say. We manifest with what we write. Mm -hmm. uh, we manifest in what we do. And so uh, definitely that daily to do when we're talking about focus um, yes. that have that list, because like, you know, we get those phone calls, we get those, you know, those things that divert our attention. But having that daily to do list, that weekly to do list, like goals that I want to accomplish, that will really, you know, because we get so caught up, you know, in our day to day activities. And then you look up and you're like, whoa. You know, somebody didn't call you over here. You're on the phone for three hours. Like, wait, hold up. And you're like, that didn't serve me. You know, especially if they gossiping, talking about who's who shot John and what. Yeah, and all this. Yeah. Or oh, we get caught up on social media. And, you know, we allow them. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We social media. Yeah. And okay. so, I mean, social media has, it's a good outlet. Uh, but a lot of us live on it. Yeah. Or, you know, every time that phone, you, you ever have your phone... Or think your phone rang or buzzed or had an alarm and it actually nothing happened, but you checking it anyway because <laughs> like something actually did. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt like my leg was buzzing. I was like, oh damn, my phone's vibrating. I'm like, wait, hold up, it, it, it's not. Yeah. yeah, and that lets you know that you know it's time to do a, a social media detox. We need to you know separate ourselves from the phone. Uh, if there was one thing that I did that was rock solid was to break my attachment to my phone mm -hmm. yeah because i i had gotten so connected to it like i just had to have it with me all the time and not realizing that it was taken away from my ability to really uh lock in on the things that mattered which was here in the real world not the virtual world yeah sometimes i want to go away from the new tech yeah same here deborah yeah absolutely do sometimes it yeah, sometimes yeah, I, I want to go away, but I run away from it too because I, if, if it didn't connect us, honestly, if it didn't connect us to the rest of the world as far as helping us to become more efficient in delivering our message, yeah, I, I, I'd be totally good just shutting all the the whole thing down. We don't have TVs in our house. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, no. people say like, you don't get a TV. I was like, no. I mean, we get a monitor, you know, to do some stuff online, maybe, but not like just to watch all the time. Nah. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah. So writing things down, mm -hmm. you're more likely to accomplish them because it's what you wrote down that's basically holding you accountable. Yes. This is what I agreed with myself to <laughs> yeah, do. I'm going to do, yes. So you're accountable yes. for that. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And it reduces stress mm -hmm. because you have made up your mind what you want to see come to fruition mm -hmm. so that it's, it's a checks and balance. Yes. You know, and then, of course, things do come up, mm -hmm. but it's like, okay, well, I'll give it, 10%, I'll give it just a couple of minutes, but then I'm going to get back to, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to get back to whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and a great way to prioritize. Actually, just what you allow in your life, period, is, is real simple, right? It's real cut and dry, right down the middle. Mm. Is, does this serve me or does it not? Is this going to help me grow? in some way, shape, or form, or is it going to take away from, you know, my growth and the growth of my family and the growth of my children? You know, is, is, it, is it, you know, 
you know, like uh, almost like a uh, look at it from a financial standpoint. It's either an uh, asset or it's a liability. Is this an asset to my life and my well being and my spiritual well being, or is it going to be a liability? Uh huh. Deserve your does it, attention. Thank you. Does it deserve your mm -hmm. attention? Yes. So everything doesn't deserve your attention, and it could be something that's really great, mm -hmm. but it's not on par with yes what I wrote down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To accomplish. So it could come about again mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form, you know, but how does it yeah. move me forward? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Where, how does, where does this fit in uh, to the grand scheme of what you want to accomplish in life and what right. goals that you're setting for the week? Right. And anything that does not fit into that, that space during that week. You got to cut it short. Hmm. Yeah, you got to cut it short. Yeah, you're right. There's so many things that are distractions. And so, yeah, that's why having that, that list, that checklist, like, okay, things that I want to accomplish for today. Now, after you accomplish, accomplish everything and you want to, you know, twiddle your thumbs, kick back, do whatever, you know, go, yeah. You know, you, you, you finished what you, you know, you, you finished your task with that and yes. it's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But prior to that, you know, I, I, I can't tell you, you know, you know, I, I, in no way are we perfect. Have we perfected this? Uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, we're all works in progress. But because I can't tell you how many times I looked up like, dang, the time, like it just like it blew by. Like what happened? You know, and I still got three things left that I didn't, you know, had looked, hadn't gotten into. And so, yeah. And so, matter of fact, a lot of t things that we talk about, um, not a lot, but yeah, the, uh, things that not, there are times like this, it's because it's something that's relevant that we've experienced, you know, in our own personal lives. Like for me, uh, I had a come to Jesus moment yesterday with regard to this. Uh, uh, when I realized that my focus needed more focus. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm locked in on what we're doing, but I'm like, okay, but there's so many facets mm -hmm. of what we have going on. And then it's like, just take it on, take it on, take it on, because we're trying to grow and, and really move in this space. And it's like, wait, hold up, no. Nah, man, you're you, you going to drive yourself ragged. Ragged. No, thank you. Yeah, because at the end of the day, um, there's things that we want to accomplish, but we also have to make sure that we have time for ourselves. Because otherwise, you will burn yourself out. And each other, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, um, in the midst of all of what we want to accomplish day in and day out, we got to have that us time. That, that, that time to really focus on, you know, the inner, our inner being. You know, what it is we want our life. We, you know, do that introspective thought. And if you're running all over the place and then passing out, <laughs> going to bed... <laughs> Because yeah, your body just dropped, and it, you're not, you know, good to nobody. Not even, you know, not yourself or anybody, anyone. At you know, once you, you know, get the passing out of dropping, you know, because of, from exhaustion. And so, uh, gotta make it's got. There's got to be uh, me time in every day. Hello. In every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Important priority yeah. mm -hmm. definitely must do, and. That's taking me into working in a quiet space. Yes. It's not necessarily a room. Mm -hmm. It could be your mind. Mm -hmm. Is your mind settled enough mm -hmm. to focus? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is your mind settled enough to focus? You can have a room and focus on your projects and things, but the, the quiet space. Mm -hmm. You know, inside and out. Yeah. All right. Great morning, Shoshana. Blessings. To Peace. You. Peace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that. Uh, and so, what does that look like to really be able to lock in day in and day out uh, when you wake up in the morning? Take some time to meditate. Take some time to pray. You know, I mean, you know, it's technically. Uh, they're, they're similar, one and the same, just depending on how you, you view it or whatnot. But uh, mm -hmm. meditate, take some time to go within, go deep within. Um, have that list in hand already. 
and you know right after you finish your meditation read read your list that way you're locked in on what it is you can do either or you can either read the list first when you first get out of bed and then meditate because now you're meditating on that list on things that you want to accomplish for the day mm -hmm. um, and a good thing to do um, the mind can't di differentiate between what we imagine and what is happening in reality good point. and so like what I'll do, I'll go through a visual, visualization technique uh, within my meditation. And I notice like when I do that and I'll play the day out and me accomplishing and doing great things in the space throughout the day. Like I'll see, like I'll take, you know, just a few minutes and like just let it all play out in, in my mind on how I see, you know, the outcomes and positive outcomes. And I've noticed that when I do that, when I actually go to do it physically later on in the day, it's almost like I'm rehearsed. I've already rehearsed it. I've already done it. And so I'm just act like I'm like an actor in the show, you know, in, in my own personal movie. And so, and then I noticed that the outcomes more times than not end up becoming what it is that I envisioned, if not better. And so those were things, like, especially when it came time to keep me on task, especially if I had a lot to do that day, uh, that, that early morning meditation uh, visualization of what it is that I wanted to accomplish, especially when I'm seeing clients doing energy work, uh, I, I really you know, lock in on that, especially uh, that way I can tap into my clients, into their psyche, and then have a really overall understanding of what they need going into a session. And so that uh, now that the energy can flow for the highest and best use of what their needs are. And so, yeah, uh, but uh, visualization and then that helps to keep you on task uh, throughout the day. And then, you know, when you, as you move through your day, you look up and be like, whoa, I didn't finish everything I needed to do. And now you got time for yourself, time to go hang out with the babies, time to go, you know, relax and enjoy and then prepare for the next day and then do it all over again. Yes. Yeah. And holding mm -hmm. the mindset that everything is possible. Yes. Everything is possible. And you're mm -hmm. speaking on visualization. Mm -hmm. That has a lot to do with imagination, too. Mm -hmm. The image in your mind that everything is accomplished and taken care of. Mm -hmm. It's whatever you can perceive, you can achieve. Say that again. Whatever, that, whatever you can perceive, you can absolutely achieve in every way. Three times for the people in the back. Right, there we go. Yes, mm -hmm. what you can perceive, yes, you can achieve. Mm -hmm. Yes, all things are possible. Yes, all things are possible once you lock in on it and focus. Mm -hmm. You got to focus and stay diligent, and you know, and and just keep going after it until you get to that point. Where are the storms? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not always going to come. Be, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and your mind is focused on that goal. Mm -hmm. Stay with that goal. Push. Mm -hmm. Keep at it. Mm -hmm. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, thanks, Greg. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. It says, Greg says, I love the synergy between you two. Oh. Hey, I love it between us two, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings yes, to you, man. Blessings to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Blessings, blessings, mm -hmm. blessings. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, that's what it's about. Focus. Focus on Tuesday. So, that, Mars, so what's today? Tuesday. What's the energy that rules? Tuesday? Mars. That means get it done. Mm -hmm. Go after it. Go after it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Prioritize. Mm -hmm. Dedicate. Mm -hmm. Use that solar plexus energy if you feel like you're in a, a rut and you need to push through. Yeah, do some, some, some you know, circulate some energy. Focus on Get that, that uh, core energy. Yeah, so focus that energy on your solar plexus, yes. that third chakra, mm -hmm. and push through. You got, you got to. And the thing is, what you do for Tuesday, the work that you do on Tuesday, if you go all out, if there's a day that you just got to put in some extra time to make it happen, Tuesday, that's the work day. Uh, the energy will help support 
and flow into your Thursday, which is the day that, uh, that the energy of the day for Thursday is the day that, uh, uh, payday. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is payday. Now, that's when whatever work you've done in that season for Tuesday, the energy for Thursday will yield. That's the day when things are manifested. That's the day when uh, abundance, and that's when the day when uh, you receive the fruits, uh, payment for the fruits of your labor. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the harder you go at it today, uh, Thursday, the energy of that day, is the rewards for the work that you've done on uh, on uh, your Tuesday. I mean, it, I mean, you, got to, you get paid off for you know rewards that you've done up to that point, but Tuesday in particular, you'll notice that that's that's going to be the game changer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so there's different energies for every day, and we'll we'll touch on that more and more uh, to help people kind of have a, a general understanding of you know the energies that support their activities. And so, uh, and that's touched on, and that's based on the, uh, the studies of the uh, I Ching Prixis, uh by Ra, Af- Ra, Ra Nef Ra Man. Um, and that uh, he discusses the Bagua. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he discusses the Bagua. Yeah, I need to hear more about the energy. Oh, yes, so Shana, absolutely. Yeah, so each day we'll be talking about the energy of the day. Uh, over time, uh, we'll start to get a little, a little deeper into it as far as because there's, the energy, the ruling energy of the day, and the ruling deity of the day, the ruling, ruling uh, planetary energy of the day, and then there's hours during the day when certain energies will be enhanced as well. So there's certain times that you should, a person should and shouldn't do certain things, and uh, and there's energies that support it and don't. And so we'll, we'll touch on that over time as well. But you know, just little nuggets each day so that we can, you know. Uh, we can all grow together. Uh, so we can all grow together. Absolutely. And so, uh, did you have anything else, baby? I crossed out everything yeah. that I said I was going to say. Oh, she crossed out everything on her list. Look at you. Ah. Oh, that's one thing I want to touch on. What happened? Focus on the little wins. Because especially when we're in a state of feeling overwhelmed. This is one thing that really helped me because I had gotten to the point where it was just like so much going on, especially transitioning from my plumbing company um, and going through the whole process and stuff. And should I do this and should I do that? And should I, should I, should I, should I? I?" And then feeling like I was just failing at everything. Focus on the small wins. I mean, the most minute. And because whatever you focus on little by little, it starts to create a snowball effect and then it just becomes an overall to the point where I feel like I'm winning all the time. And so, I mean, just, I woke up this morning and be grateful for it. Gratitude, the spirit of gratitude brings more of whatever it is that you're desiring. It, the universe will encapsulate you with the, uh, the energy and that spirit of gratitude. And so, You've got to really lock in on, you know, I woke up this morning. Thank God, you know, I, you know, I, you know, and be grateful for that. Hey, I got out of bed. Ooh, yeah. And so the more, because your body has like what they call a reward center or it creates like endorphins, uh, based around whatever your thought presses are. That's the same way the social media stuff, all those little bells and whistles. Um, there's an article on, uh, I remember they did a TED talk about it that, they purposely created the cell phones like they do slot machines. So that's why all those bells and whistles, the stuff that makes you want to, there's a reward center that's, that it's tapping into. And it makes you, it creates an addictive uh, type of situation where you got to, when you're thinking you're feeling the cell phone ringing, it ain't even ringing. Or you're thinking you're hearing a, a buzz because you're so tuned in and locked into wanting that to happen that you start to manifest it as if it actually did. You can do the same thing with winning. You can do the same thing with accomplishing something. You can do the same thing with focusing on each little win. A win here, a win there, a win. And that all of a sudden now you go from feeling like, oh man, I can't accomplish nothing to I can accomplish anything. You can't tell me nothing. 
that I can't do. <laughs> Nothing. Why? Because I'm a, I'm winning. I done won 10 times a day. Because see, the thing is, your mind can't really differentiate between a big win and a little win. It's all the same. But it may be something small, but your gratitude for just, and I got out of bed today. You know what? And then you want to keep winning. It becomes addictive to keep wanting to do and accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. And so that's, that, that's if there's anything I want to leave you with, that. Focus on the small wins, especially in, in focus, period. Create your list. <laughs> and then even just the little things leading up to whatever it is you want to accomplish. And then when you get to when it's time to be accomplished, you, you got the mindset like, I can't do nothing else but win. Right. Yeah. All I do is what? Win. 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 All I do is what? Win. win. Mm, all I do is win. That's what it's about. You got to create that winning mentality. If I could take it a little further. Yes, you absolutely can. Staying in a space of gratitude. Mm, mm -hmm. You're constantly giving thanks. Mm -hmm. And when you're constantly giving thanks, that is part of prayer. Yes. And then if you elevate that to prayer without ceasing, you're always in gratitude. Mm -hmm. It's a spirit of gratitude. Absolutely. Life streaming. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All the time. All the time. Breaking news is mm -hmm. gratitude. Yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. happy Tuesday, everybody. Yes. Let's get it. Yes. All right. We love you all. Peace and blessings. Peace.